The Last of Us is a story of survival. Uh, it's a story of Joel and Ellie, these two survivors that are trying to make their way across a United States that has been ravaged by this pandemic. The story starts with Joel and Ellie living in a, a military quarantine zone. And because of some events happen, and Joel is asked by a dying friend to take care of Ellie, and Joel ends up sneaking her out of this quarantine zone, so they're traveling west. It's kind of a bleak world, you know, it's a world that has been decimated. People are willing to do whatever it takes to survive. So we're not shying away from pretty dark themes because they're contrasted by these kind of emotional emotions that we feel really strongly about. So as you travel across the story, across the United States, you're going to run into different factions. Here's just one faction, the Hunters. And each one of these factions has different ways of dealing with the infected and lack of supplies. Some will be more altruistic as they come across Joel and Ellie and might team up with them. Some, like we see with the Hunters, are willing to kill them for anything. Yeah, you will be allied with other characters. Right now we're just focusing on Joel and Ellie, but we actually have a pretty big cast of characters that we haven't revealed yet. The way the story progresses is almost like short stories. Um, so, in the area you're going to travel in real time and progress through gameplay and then once you reach a certain goal, a certain um, climax, you're then going to uh, cinematically move to another location. As far as the length of the game, you can look at our past titles and see kind of the length we're shooting for. Uh, but I can tell you there is multiplayer in The Last of Us, but we're not really talking about what that is exactly just yet. It's a story that has like specific beats that, that you're going to experience. But within those, or between those, we really want to open up the environment to let you explore. So you choose how much you want to go off the beaten path and find these narrative moments that tell you more about who Joel and Ellie are and their different perspectives of how they view the world. Some people have asked, like, it, it feels really shocking, it feels really violent. And if you think about it, we're not doing stuff that's really over the top compared to some, to, to some other games. But I think it feels shocking because it's real. We're going for realistic. Because we make these guys feel human, it feels worse kind of dispatching them. But the thing that intrigues us, it's that conscious that we're creating. It's, it's done in the service of saving this 14-year-old girl. It's fancy. Because The Last of Us is a totally different genre, it takes place in different locations, and anything we've done in the past, we had to kind of reinvent the way we handle lighting. So lighting in this game, there's no really man-made lights, there's no electricity. So we're doing a lot more bounce light. And again, it's all to like pull you into the story because the more we could draw you in and you don't think about that stuff, the more you're thinking about the relationship and Joel and Ellie. There is something we're trying to say with this game and hopefully players appreciate that when they finally finish it. <laughs>